Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. Every time I start a new experiment, I have some preconceived notions as to at least a likely outcome. And I'm not always right. I mean, actually, I'm quite often wrong. But this experiment here was something completely unexpected. I was expecting it to do a certain thing. And as it turns out, uh, I was actually nowhere near. And that is actually really kind of cool because I like learning new things, of, and especially new things about filtration. So before I get into the details of that, I want to talk about this filter here. This is the box filter in the original experiment. This is the one that got put in the tank uh, that was fully dosed with uh, ammonium chloride. And then it sat there and gradually chewed that up. And I honestly thought it was going to be fairly quick, but as you recall from the first part of this experiment, it took a while. In the end, it was three and a half days before it used up the full dose of ammonium chloride, which is interesting. Like I said, I didn't expect it to take that long. And the next thing I thought, well, seeing how it has been exposed to that much ammonia, the bacteria levels that are going to eat that should have you know, risen. So... What I did then, the second it got down to zero pretty much, is I redosed that tank, and then uh, uh, over the next uh, while, I started taking readings again, and to see how long it was going to take for the filter, after like I said, it had been exposed to a lot more ammonia, for it to remove that ammonia. Now, if anybody knows anything about uh, bacterial reproduction, they have a very quick turnover. They have a life cycle of roughly about 20 minutes under optimal conditions. And I'd say that the aquarium with its temperature and everything else fits that quite closely. So I expected that uh, after being exposed to so much more ammonia, that the next time it would take less for it to uh, chew up that ammonia and reduce it down to zero. So that was my expectation for that. So let's see how that went. So here we are at the three and a half day mark, and as you can see, it's nice and clear. There's a little bit of film on the test tube, but that's all there is there. So I immediately redosed this, and 24 hours later, uh, it was still looking relatively the same as it did the first time through. And then again at the 48 hour mark, and then I left it in for another half a day, and like I said, it's not going down any faster. So at this point, I decided to call that. Uh, it was just a curiosity anyway. It's not doing anything additional than I had already expected. Uh, so I cleaned this tank out and got it prepped for uh, the under gravel filter one. Now that initial clip you saw there, uh, that tank with the box filter in it, that is the tank where this filter came from. And part of the reason why I wanted to do it that way is I wanted to see if putting that box filter in after being exposed to all the extra ammonia was going to have any difference in its filtration capacity or like was the water going to get cloudy uh, were the fish going to act any differently uh, was there going to be any change in at least the appearance and behavior of everything that's in the aquarium and there wasn't it was stayed nice and clear uh, the fish were perfectly fine as you can see they're swimming around quite nicely and well, one other thing I want to mention before uh, I get on to the, this experiment. When I put that box filter in this tank, uh, all my aquariums, as you know, have uh, scuds and shrimp and everything else in them. Uh, a bunch of them swam out of this. And I thought initially, uh, when I saw them swimming there, I said, well, they're dead. Uh, but they actually survived for quite some time. Eventually, I think uh, most of them did pass away because it is a fair amount of ammonia. But in the end, when I went to clean this out and reset it for this, uh, there are still actually some uh, scuds swimming around in there. So uh, they're pretty resilient little buggers, that's for sure. So this experiment here, uh, like I said, tank got cleaned out, uh, redosed, and I put the filter in here. And because I was running low on ammonia test, I decided instead of doing any kind of um, short time span between tests, I immediately went to uh, the day marks. So I put this in, I measured it at zero. Uh, you'll see the test shortly. Uh, and then I measured it at uh, 24 hours, 48 hours, and so on. And at the time of uh, recording this, uh, it had not gone down to zero. So uh, I'll probably put that up for 
uh, Sunday in the Sunday vlog to let you know how long it went. Uh, only I think if there's anything really interesting about it, otherwise I'll probably just tell you. It seems that no matter the filter, I mean this filter here in theory has way more uh, surface area than the box filter. I know the box filter had a lava rock in it, but there's an awful lot of gravel in here and it has been exposed to uh, fish waste for years. So it uh, should be as charged as any filter is ever going to get. And I thought maybe it would be a little bit faster. Uh, again, I have been proven wrong, which is interesting. Like I said, I'm actually learning a fair amount about uh, filtration. First off, uh, these filters uh, do great jobs. I mean, the tanks are clean. I don't have any problems with hair algae, blackbeard algae, uh, slime algae, any of that sort of stuff. The fish are all healthy. If I were to test, as I had done in the past, uh, them for ammonia, nitrite, and even nitrate, uh, nitrate in a fish tank uh, without any plants is going to climb up, and of course you have to reduce that with uh, you know, water changes. Now, in my high humidity planters, they, uh, that, those systems there actually measure very little in the way of nitrate. It's usually less than 10 parts per million, depending on you know, how stocked the tank is. So if I tested nitrate in that tank next door there, uh, the one to the right, uh, I doubt I would actually even be able to get any kind of reading. It would definitely be less than 10. So it, it, I know they work, uh, but having them exposed to higher levels of ammonia doesn't seem to get them... I mean, I suppose in time it would end up increasing the population on there. But in the short term, like in the week, uh, week and a half that some of these have ran, uh, it did not happen. So here are the results for the undergravel filter. And as you can see at the zero mark, it has the appropriate amount of color in it. And then I'm going to do for 24 hours and then uh, again at 36 because I had to cut it for getting this video processed. I will continue until it reaches zero. But these results here indicate to me that this is going to be the exact same process as with uh, the box filter. So it doesn't seem to make any difference. Filters will culture and maintain an amount of bacteria that they require to process whatever's in the aquarium. You, if you have a much heavier uh, stock in your tank, let's say you're dealing with large African cichlids or if you have like just big dirty fish, uh, like goldfish are pretty messy and produce a lot, or uh, pleco breeding tanks for that matter, uh, they may end up having an initial stock of uh, bacteria on here higher than uh, normal, and they may actually end up uh, processing these things faster. But in general, an average aquarium, uh, it doesn't seem to make any difference as far as... Uh, you know, the different amount of culture they have on them. They all process the ammonia at the same rate. They might be plus or minus a few hours, uh, but again, it doesn't really matter uh, because, uh, like I said, they're all roughly the same. Uh, I'm not going to bother going on to other filters for this. I was initially going to go on from here to a sponge filter. If you guys have um, strong feelings about how you want this, like if you want me to continue with this, Definitely leave, let me know below in the comments uh, that you would like to see more of this. But honestly, I don't think there's going to be any difference. Uh, I will uh, continue this one here until uh, it goes to clear. Just to double check, just to make sure. But it's already at almost two days and it is obviously not down to zero yet. So it only has another day and a half to get rid of what's left, which I think is probably about right. And again, like I said, it's just, it is not significant. If it were a zero at this point when I put this video up, then I could say, yes, that's a significant difference. But if it's, like I said, if it ends up being three days instead of three and a half days or moves on closer to four, I, I don't think it really matters. It's not enough of a difference. Now, I did want to test my high humidity planter filters with all that plant material and... Uh, see how they did but I would have to remove all the fish because they would not be able to tolerate it and honestly I just don't want to stress the system out that much it is um, prop 
I hate to say probably going to go faster because you have all of those plants to eat up all that extra ammonia and they do like it as a food source uh, so it may go faster if uh, like I said you guys have strong feelings about uh, trying that one uh, I can hope I can possibly do it I couldn't obviously sterilize the aquarium because uh, again I'd have to disturb everything to get that to happen and that's not a good idea so anyway, let me know below let me know what you think and uh, I'll figure something out possibly for that but it is the only one I think that might make a bit of a difference and that's only because of all the plants so um, let me know and then we'll move on from there so as always if you like this style of video please like and or subscribe and let me know what you think and uh, <laughs> uh, this is an experiment that went in a completely different direction uh, but again like I said, I learned something and if you guys uh, have some thoughts about it, you want to share with it uh, let me know below as well and I will see you in the next video and bye for now